Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth4 for another episode of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga for the 3DS. In the last episode, we uh, got some new uh, hammer techniques and also uh, met Popple and uh, his rookie. And uh, yeah, shenanigans abounded. I need to lower my volume a little bit because that is hurting my ears. Why did that freeze? That just died. Sorry about that. For some reason, my 3DS capture crashed. So that's cool. Um, to reiterate, in case uh, the thing crashed and was un unsavable, uh, we uh, we went into the Chuckalock Woods. We got hammer techniques. We fought a thief, and now we are looking for fruit to give a large tree that they changed in this version and made me sad. But, uh, it is what it is. Got a super mushroom there. Uh, get some points. I love all the little details, like the, just the little faces in there. Let's get on the bicycle. And oh, uh, we've been here before. Yeah, and there's our last fruit. We were, uh... We got the purple chuckle of fruit. That is our last one, right? I think so. We were here, uh... From the other side. I'll show you on the mini-map in just a second. Yeah, so we, we came in... Around, so... Uh, is there anywhere else for us to go? It doesn't look like it. Let's take a look at our inventory. Maybe it's key items. Okay, we have all three. Red, white, and purple. Just like America! What do you mean that's not the American colors? I'm still upset that they got rid of the <laughs> you know, command slash sound effect. So let's get ourselves back over. All the way over. Boing. Heal up again. We should be pretty... No, you know, we, need, we don't need to save yet. We should be pretty overleveled for the next part. I'm still upset that they, like... Why didn't... Why did they change this? Why did they change him? You have found all three chocolate fruits! I'm amazed! Very well, you may pass. Very well, go! I will sleep now. Good night. Yay? Oh! Yes, oh yeah, the path is open. We were stuck and couldn't get past, you see? Heine, I'm waiting for a couple of schmoes is brilliant! Alright, rookie, let's not waste any more time. We're golden, see? That's not good. Uh, let's see if we can beat them to getting the uh, Chuckler Reserve, because we, we kind of want that. I believe that there are things to dig up over here. No? Okay. thought there were Xbox logos around here, but I guess not. There's another save point, but eh. It's the worst that could happen. <laughs> what do idiots think, Soda? Okay, why did that not wait for me? What do Sodas call their dad? Pop! That used to not make laughing noises. A hippie's favorite soda? Granola Cola. <laughs> My name is Bubbles. And I am the ultimate comedian with the laughing and the chortling and the ha ha ha! Let the laughing and the chortling and the heart. Sorry. Yes, monsieurs. Indeed, what you see before you is the most legendary of sodas. The Chocolat Reserve. Why are you in a costume? And I am pleased to tell you that this Chocolat Reserve is yours to enjoy. 
That was easy. <laughs> I've worked on chocolate was there for 1,000 years. Oh my god. Telling a joke after joke so to mature and then mature and more and then more. At last, the great soda of all, t of all would be completed with the fizz and the tastiness and the fizz and the tastiness and the life and... Sorry. Because there's a soda of such high caliber or repute. Rude guests me to fit such as this. Un, deux, trois! <laughs> that, that's no ordinary soda, to see! We can't stand up to such a beverage! Oh! Wow, they really, really screwed these up too. They looked, they actually looked scared previously. Now they're just... I'm sorry I'm so critical. I know people like this version, but... They're messing it up in the, all the wrong places. The Great Chocolate Reserve is a thing to savor the flavor of the tang and the yum in the belly. Oh god. Ah, it is wonderful, so wonderful. The great soda shines. <laughs> However, that was not the only hidden soda power that my jokes have bred over these thousand years. <laughs> now I insist you fully experience the texture, taste, and aroma of chocolate reserve. Bon appetit! <laughs> For boss time against the chocolate reserve. Yep. Yeah, so he's gonna fire stuff is. So, uh, to start off, the Chuckle Reserve, um, the Chuckleator, uh, has a shield, and that shield stinks. So, you want to try to get rid of it as soon as possible. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is Chopper Bros. Come on, why do you. Uh... Okay, so now he has a gun arm instead of whatever he had before. Uh, man. The timing in this game just drives me crazy. Okay, so we broke the shield, so now he should be just assailable. That was bad. Uh, let's... I'm not gonna go for Chopper Bros again. Let's go for... S Super Splash Bros, I guess. See, like, that's going fast. I don't know why the other one isn't. And Super Knockback Bros is still... Sorry, Mario. Yeah, the timing is just gonna drive me nuts on this. I, I should be doing more damage with that, and it's bothering me that it's not. Also, that was a big boss, and it gave me a very large margin for that, so that was cool. Let's just do a regular. Yeah, that should really be doing more damage. Like I said before, I definitely prefer the regular Chopper Bros. To, uh, to the advanced one. I, I know it's called Super, but this is the advanced one. Oh, hey, cool, we're beating it. Uh, let's, let's just get uh, Syrup going on you. Oh. Can I kill you? Nope. What <laughs> do sheep come to sleep? <laughs> yeah, so he comes and tells jokes and it ow, it heals the uh, the boss. And that's annoying.
but it should die from this. No? Yeah. That's really not a lot of time to dodge. They definitely sped him up too. Dead yet? Nope. That's not good. That's very not good. Let's let's get some nuts out here so we don't die. Oh. <laughs> Who heals horse horses? <laughs> Ow. Uh okay, well, the A B. Should have had more impact, alright. I don't know, for some reason the game's just not performing as well as I thought it would at this juncture. <laughs> what do people think sheep count to sleep? Ow. Let's get that knockback rose back. Does that kill you? There we go. It took a little longer than I thought. And we got a Bubbles badge out of that. That's new. And did we level up? Yes, we do. I got it. Uh, nope. We're back up to fours here. That's cool. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can get you more power. Yeah, there we go. Haha. -ha. No! What's the jokes? The puns, the humor I've saved up over the last 1,000 years! However, yeah, so he's a sore loser, and Mario fell into that, and Luigi is by himself. Mario, Mario, Mario. So let's save because when you are by yourself, uh, the game gets significantly harder. I don't know why the game enjoys putting Luigi by himself, but this is not the only time in the game that it does that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna avoid as many fights as I can. I don't know why I'm breaking these, we're not coming back here. Okay, got a 50 coin. A 50 coin. Not there. Oh, oh. Bye. Luigi's just like, I don't know where I'm going. Oh! Hmm, well, look at this! A very Mario esque fellow with uh, some other guy. What? What is it? Mario's guts is filled to the brim with chocolate reserve, it's slushy around his insides, gross! Th that's terrible, it's sort of disgusting. You must contact Lady Lama immediately! Hmm, by the way, what's a chocolate reserve? Shh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Bean has been in a deep sleep, just as you see her now. But you did you truly tame so the legendary chocolate reserve? That's disgusting. <laughs> Step 
about it. There's the belly black worm. No. Oh. Oh, 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 success! A truly repugnant, yet truly tremendous success! <laughs> Great Bean has returned! <laughs> ah, that's the hardest I've laughed in a long, long time! Well done, Lady Lima! <laughs> no, your highness is not I, but rather the Mario Brothers, whom you must thank. <laughs> hmm. So, Kecletus is still in Princess Peach's voice in the Bean Star. <laughs> it was my fault! Nonsense. But why would Cake let us steal the Beanstar in Princess Peach's voice in the first place? Time for exposition. The Beanstar is the protector of the land and has the power to grant any and all desires. To prevent such power from being used for evil, the Beanstar was cast into a deep sleep. It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the Beanstar from its slumber. It must be the voice of a pure, noble soul. In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one with who possesses such a voice. So, the reason Kakletta stole Princess Peach's voice... Aha! She must plan to awaken the Beanstone and fulfill all of her desires! And there's no mistaking her one true desire, to rule the world! Of course! <laughs> Fear not, I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. We are prepared. Card for card, we have a better hand than she. Your Highness! Princess Peas uh, Prince Peasley has arrived. I'm sorry, it's it's the hare. Perfect timing. Master Mario, Master Luigi, head out to meet Prince Peasley. Prince Peasley, where where are you? What cards have you drawn, your highness? Feeling me great if not attack the castle to anymore. Yeah, oh, that'd be nice. Yo! <laughs> Cheers to Red and Greeny. Thank you for your help earlier. Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission is about to pay off. <laughs> Prince Peasley, excellent work on your mission! Have you learned the whereabouts of Kekletta? <laughs> Thanks to you! Absolutely! <laughs> Southeast of this castle's Woohoo University, our local research institution. Kekletta and her underlings have just snuck in there, into Woohoo University! Yes, of course, Woohoo University is the perfect place to awaken the Beanstar. <laughs> of course, of course it's Woohoo University. It couldn't be anything but Woohoo University. Just one question. What is it? What's Woohoo University? God, no one's gonna understand that reference. Uh, I intend to march into Woohoo University right this instant. May we meet again? Bang. Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be your chance to recover Prince Pe Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are allowed passage on the road to Woohoo University. Cool. And we can explore the palace now too, hey. Um, after we can make our repairs at Castle Court Gardens that are right above us. Well, this is a nice place. This looks like a nice spot. Is there... there's nothing. Yeah, it's, I mean, this looks like an obstacle course, but, like, there's nothing here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can now explore a little bit. The room on the right is called the Chest of Knowledge. It's a useful tip for travelers. Oh, boy. Let's see. Shopkeepers can find... Yeah, so that stash makes you get better prices. Get... Advanced techniques, lucky hits by a higher stash, hammer will lower their speed. Okay, cool, thanks a lot. Let me just. Yeah, so we already got all that stuff. So now when we leave, 
we have normal music. Boop, boop. Okay, so first things first. Well, we got a uh, another warp pipe here. This is a very useful one. But if you try to go into any of these, you get this horrifying creature. Hey, hey, welcome to the pipe house. I'm here to teach you everything you want to know about pipes. Want to ask about pipes? No. See you later! Don't come if you want to ask. And if we go in this one, we just come out that side. What's the point? I don't know. But that yeah, that thing is a, is a, is a horrible abomination. Uh, anyway, over here we have something interesting. A little place for micro adventures. This is just to get Mario up to that like other half of the room that we saw. Um, that we saw uh, from the castle. With the hidden blocks. With who beans. So again, if there are any hidden blocks around, uh, they will have that like little glow around them. Or shine or whatever. But uh, now that the town... Well, let's take a look at the town. No, actually we're going to go here first. Sorry. So there's like an area up over here with this guy. Oh yeah, you're perfect. I want a picture. So, well, you want a picture taken? No. Uh, that guy can retake your. Wow. Uh, retake your passport picture in case you just didn't like it. And we got another auto York or another music tape. Nice. But uh, we can also go. Is there anything here? No. Down here, to the right side of town. And the town is actually restored. Ooh, another audio tape. Cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so the town is back to normal. It took them just a little while to repair it, but uh, there's actually a bunch of side quests we can do. The most important thing to do when traveling overseas is save. That's right, save. They say saving is the best traveler's insurance around. No, sometimes you may feel lost in that unknown land. No big deal happens to the best of us. If you're ever not sure what to do, take a look at the minimap. So we can go over to the right to lands unknown, but no. Yeah, excuse me, this is kind of a dumb question, but uh, you know when you jump on the other guy? Well, what if what then when the other guy was about to get you know jumped on? What if he moved out of the way at the last second? What would happen? Don't you ever wonder? Not that I need an answer. I wouldn't spend too much time thinking about it or anything. That'd be rude. I don't think you can do that. You can't do it. <laughs> I bet if you pass Alan out simultaneously, you'll both go to the solo jump icon. Yeah, for some reason my grandpa's been saying really bizarre things lately. Maybe it's just as anxious as no. <laughs> uh, it's actually kind of funny. No, I can't go up there. It actually is kind of funny. Yo, yo, yo! Two traveling dudes! I'm like hurting over here in a big way, bros! Can't you help but being out? Weak! No. Got side quests. Side quests! Seriously, my pet beanlets up and took off on me. Poor little doodlets, you can catch all five of them, I'll totally make it worth your while. Tiny and green, and they're all over the place. And they are only in the town, so we'll keep an eye out for them as we uh, go along here. So this guy is creepy, but he sells hints. Oh, welcome! Care to show me all records? You know, going the extra mile, becoming especially a superstar. Kind of behavior makes me happy, you dig? Uh, na naturally, I give you a nice reward for your efforts, provided the story you spin is good enough, that is. Go on, show me your records, sure. This is new. Ah, you defeated a hundred foes. Huh, you've received 150 excellence. Huh, you dodged enemy attacks a hundred times. Huh, you found 20% of the blocks. Oh, it's quite a story you're cooking up. Thanks, friendy, as a reward. Three nuts, eight syrups, 150 coins, three mushrooms, and a partridge in a pear tree. That's interesting. Okay, that, this is definitely no. I'm pretty sure he sold hints before, but maybe I just never explored this building and he was always like that. Oh, aren't you marrying Luigi? Wow, oh, you're even cooler in person. Prince Pizzi is cooler than you. Okay, go die. 
Oh, the university is the center of all scientific research in the Big Bang Kingdom. Apparently, it's southeast of here. Not that I've been there. I'd love to study there. Uh, but yeah, the uh, item shop is now back to its normal place. Uh, welcome to the item shop. What do you want, kids? So we can buy super mushrooms now. Hooray! Also nuts. Hooray! And uh, one of mushrooms are good, but we, are, we, we have a lot of everything, so we're good for now. Supposedly a little shop a little fungi town gives a lot of products we don't have here. Little fungi town, eh? You do not say. Uh, let's... Oh, wait. There's one of the little beanlets right there. I'm just gonna finish exploring around here. Yeah, there's another one on this roof. We should probably also go in this house. Super mushroom, hoo beans, syrup. On the island at the sea on the right edge of the map, there's a place you can lend hand powers. Did you know that? How about this? On the bottom right of the map, where the rocks are, is a place where the jellyfish sisters. Wow, spoilers! You're no fun, smart guy. That's like super spoilers. I don't even remember if they had to say that in that if he says that in the original game, huh? Ah, uh, there's another bean light up there. Three. And perhaps this town's greatest intellect at present is the ancient soybean civilization that is captured by focus and attention. Would you like to hear? Sure. Yeah, the ancient soybean civilization, the age of flying spin beans, tunneling mole beans, and fast moving dash beans. Yes, all evidence points to advanced bean civilization once grazed in this land. And as for the whereabouts of the bean stones, are heretofore hidden treasures of the soybeans are perhaps central across some astounding facts related to this matter. Theorize this, perhaps the bean stones were indeed buried and still rest beneath this very town. Desire so greatly to dig this town down to its foundations, even deeper, deeper if I must. And how am I even to begin guessing where digging, where the mind recoils at the thought? I ask you, how happy would I be if the two of you were to dig up these artifacts for me? Quite happy indeed, I would reward you too. Sure. Fascinating! Your bold specimens! I theorize there are actually ten bean stones. If we recover all ten, I might reward you. By the by, the theory suggests ancient so soybeans were perhaps on the short side. Perhaps some new information may provide you with a clue. Okay. So, uh, those are things buried in the ground, like the previous beans. Uh, the way to find them is to be, uh, Tiny Mario. Also, who beans? And Tiny Mario will be able to detect them, and then Luigi will uh, dig them up. Just looking for the last uh, beanlets here. Is that five? I don't remember. Let's check our menu. We'll we'll be looking for the uh, the beans in the next episode. But first things first. No, 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 no. No, actually, I did want to look at gear. Oh, we got the rookie emblem, but we got the Bubbles badge, legendary bag. Also, auto restores BP. That's that's interesting. Uh, I don't think we need spikes for the next one. See, so yeah, let's give that to Luigi. That's very interesting. There's Mr. Amiibo over there still. Things are finally back to normal, guy. Let's just go give that guy his little pets back. Yo! Oh, one more to go. Okay. It wasn't over here, so it was definitely in this side of town. Ba -ba. It was up here, like in a corner, right? Yeah. Can you not get stuck in there? Oh, it's up here. Got worried for a second that it was actually in the corner. I'll just check this out. Hey! Uh, once in a while I get an urge to nap out of the roof, then I'll rent myself a room. Uh, but even then, they're really, rarely big enough for me. The room is nice, isn't it? It has the heater and a window and no bath or toilets. It's three years old and three seconds to cafe. But as nice as you can't have it. I never rented to this, but I didn't want it. This is garbage. Say, have you heard of Big Nose? Prince Pacey's special is in life and danger secret mission. But you know, I've got so many devastating things happen to him! Yeah, I'm sure nothing will happen to him. There are a lot of bugs decided to move into my books, so I'm airing them all out. Cheap fumigation. Okay, that's just more hints that we don't need. 
we go in this house? Yes, we did. Okay, now we're gonna give that guy's bugs back. Or er, beans. His pets! Beanlets, I assume, are like little puppy versions of that bean thing. <laughs> oh, my poor little beanlet buddy's got them all back for me. Yo, thanks, bro. Practically cry and relieve really, these dooblets are safe. He has a reward, I promise you. Ooh, a golden mushroom. That's that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, don't let them loose. Uh, okay, so in the next episode, we are going to actually explore the recently opened Bean Bean Cafe. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been Several Temple 4 with... Mario Luigi Superstar Saga for 3DS. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.